me. Do whatever you can do to bring it to pass. Amen. If God can do it for them, He can do it for others. Amen. Because we have a God whose mercy is great. Come on. Whose love is like the ocean in its size. Amen. Whose grace is amazing. Whose forgiveness is immense. Amen. Let me give you one more point today. Draw one more parallel. Number three, the thing we've got to realize is that the time is urgent. The time is urgent. The day is the day of salvation. We don't know if we have tomorrow. And just as the time was urgent in Peter's life, so it's urgent now. I can imagine that as the Passover week began to wind down, the intensity of the prayer meeting began to build. As the sun set on the Sabbath, the believers are now extremely intense. Oh God, we're running out of time. The holiday's almost over. The Passover week is almost done. This is the last night. Tomorrow could be the end. The final hours are upon us, oh Lord. Save Peter, we pray. It was urgent prayers. It was desperate prayers. It was intense prayers that were prayed that day. They were crying out to God. And I want to tell you that I feel like my life has been blessed. Today at 60 years of age, I can look back across my life and I can remember some very intense prayer meetings. I can remember going to my hometown church in Worthington, Minnesota, where a revival meeting had broken out. All of my high school friends that had part of that church, they had completely backslid and were completely away from God. But I remember coming home from Bible college and walking into the prayer room and they were literally, there was not a single prayer, a place to sit in that, in that, in that meeting. And I had to walk over people's legs and I thought well I'll just go on the steps that go upstairs and I got through the steps the steps were completely filled I thought well I'll go up in the in the hallway the hallway was filled the rooms were filled and it was not just simply people praying quietly they were crying out oh God send your power once more send revival once more send your spirit once more I'm here today to tell you that we've got to get back to an urgency we've got to get back to believing that God is able to do great and mighty things in our life and if there's anything I came to do this morning it's to stir up a passion inside of somebody today it's to stir up a heartfelt desire to believe that God can and will answer your prayer amen Jesus felt that urgency he said as long as this day we got to do the work of him who sent us night is coming when no man can work John chapter 9 and verse number 4 And I am convinced, my friend, that we're living in the last days of the last days. I honestly believe that Jesus Christ could return any moment. Are you ready? (laughs) How many of you say, I'm ready? Even so, Lord Jesus, come. Let the Lord return in the rapture of the church. Thousands and millions of believers all across the world will instantaneously disappear. And that that phrase, the night comes when no man will work, that will become into complete fruition as the Antichrist takes over and there will be seven years of difficulty and tribulation that take place on planet Earth. I honestly believe that it's just around the corner. All you need to do is look at the papers, look at your world, look and see what's happening. And you'll see that sin is growing on every side. Even the earth itself is groaning and struggling underneath the terrible weight of sin. I just believe that Jesus Christ is coming soon. In Peter's day, God heard the desperate cries of a church that was willing to call on him when time was running out. And I want to tell you something, that until he comes, there's still hope. Until he comes, we still can pray. Until he comes, we can still believe. And God hears the cries of the the desperate. (laughs) 